What's up guys? You was at the Skyblock tutorial man here. Yeah, somebody actually called me a Skyblock tutorial man. And it wasn't all. There was another guy who said something like, Isn't that the YouTuber with the cringy intro? Damn, people just bully me nowadays. Can't really blame them though. I haven't uploaded anything else than Skyblock lately. Let's be real here. I haven't really uploaded that either. But I'm back on the Skyblock grind now because I think they might finally release dungeons. So I need to get my levels up. But now that I have been grinding something else than Slayer all the time, I have noticed that grinding certain skills while being in a 5-man co-op is way too slow. So today use the Skyblock tutorial man is gonna talk about co-ops and why you should think twice before joining one. Of course I'm the guy with the cringe intro. That was like the whole point when I made it. I'm probably way too late to warn anyone about joining a co-op because, well, everyone has played this game for months now. But at the same time, it's like my cry for help because the way Hypixel Skyblock co-ops are designed sucks. And I kinda hope that they would buff them. So, let me explain to you why I think Hypixel Skyblock co-ops are not worth it. A lot of people seem to think that playing Hypixel Skyblock in a co-op is way easier and more efficient, but it's not really the case. Every new co-op member you get actually makes it harder. You don't unlock anything when you make a co-op. You just have to share everything you would have as a solo. Which is really dumb because playing games with your friends is way more fun than playing them alone. Which is why we made our co-op when Skyblock first released over 10 months ago. And I guess back then, when no one really knew anything about Skyblock, co-ops were kinda useful. Like everything was about collections and recipes back then. So obviously if you had your entire co-op mining emeralds in the deep caverns to unlock the emerald armor or killing magma cubes in the nether to get the magma armor, it was faster than doing it alone. So I was happy in my co-op for months. Well, I guess it wasn't really a co-op because none of my co-op members played. But then they released Slayer and I noticed the first problem with co-ops, the bank. Before Slayer came out, Refraction didn't play Skyblock at all. So all the money in the bank was either mine or it was money that Nico brought with him from his own solo island when he joined our co-op. And the only thing Cal did when he started playing was Revenants. And we all know that that is really expensive. So obviously I got a little upset when he started wasting our money without making anything back. But then he started streaming and getting donations from his fans. So that problem was solved quickly. But that's not really a disadvantage. If you join a co-op, you should join a co-op you can trust. The disadvantage is the fact that you have to share one bank and one interest between five people. Here is a little example. We have five people with 10 million each playing in a co-op. They all put their money into the bank, but since level one bank can only have 50 million in it, it would be instantly full. And then there's the interest. Back in the day, you would always get 2% interest, no matter how much money you had in the bank. But now, if you have level one bank, you would only get 2% for the first 10 million and 1% for the next 5. So the max interest for level 1 bank is 250k. But you know, since the bank would be full, they wouldn't get anything. And then we have these guys who didn't make a co-op. And they also have 10 million each. But the difference is that they have 5 different banks. So all of them would have room for 40 more million coins. And since they have five different banks, they would get five different interests as well. So instead of getting 250k, like the people in co-op, which they would have to split between five people, they get 200k each. And they would still have plenty of room in their banks. So while the people in the co-op would still have 50 million coins, the guys who were smart enough not to join a co-op would have made 1 million and still have room for like 200 more million coins. So if you're in a co-op, you have less room for money and you get less money from interest. And if you're in a bad co-op, somebody could just take all your money. But that's not really a problem for me because I'm in a co-op with people I trust. And I think they're smart enough to not get their accounts hacked. But there are so many things that could go wrong if you're in a co-op with people you don't know so well. And here is a few. Anyone in your co-op can collect your auctions and you wouldn't even know who it was unless you were online while they did it. Like imagine selling a dragon pet for millions of coins and not even getting the money because your co-op member took it. They can also collect your money from your sell orders in Bazaar. Your co-op member could get hacked or just be an ass and steal everything you have in your co-op. Well, not everything because people keep items in their inventory and ender chest, but you know what I mean. 
And this is probably the thing that I would fear the most. Your co-op members could just vote kick you off the island. If you get kicked, you lose everything. You lose your fairy souls, you lose your collections, slayer levels, normal levels, everything in your inventory, everything in your ender chest, all the money in your purse. You wouldn't have anything left. I guess you can get your items back if they are nice enough, but if they kick you from the co-op, they probably are not. Imagine putting hundreds of hours into Skyblock, getting all the slayers to level 9, getting few level 50s, and then getting kicked. Yeah, that would suck. But like I said earlier, I don't really care about those things because they don't affect my gameplay. But they are things that you should be aware of when you are thinking about joining a co-op. But now we get to the biggest disadvantage you have when you are in a co-op. And the reason why I'm making this video today. Minions. Minions are so important when you are playing Hypixel Skyblock. They unlock recipes, they make you money, and they give you experience. And guess what? You have to share all that with your co-op members. Which is bad, because there are some skills that take forever to level up by hand. Mining and fishing. Why would anyone want to go out there and fish for like 10 hours to maybe get one level, when they could just place down 24 clay minions and collect them once in a while? and get the same experience. But hey, since I'm in a co-op, I don't have 24 minions. I have five. I actually have seven because we are sharing the minions between the three most active members. But if we had five people who were tryharding Skyblock, we would all have either four or five minions each. The good thing about fishing though, while it's extremely boring and slow to level up, there is a decent way to do it without the help of minions. But mining? It's not gonna happen. You could build that cobblestone generator thing, or you could go to deep caverns, but I think that's even slower. I think the only good way to get mining experience is by placing down a lot of diamond minions and then just mining the diamonds. But I rather just collect snow from snow minions every day. It only took me like two weeks with 10 snow minions to get mining 25. I was getting like 90k experience a day. Obviously if I was a solo, I would have gotten it in a week because I could just use all the minions. So yeah, the experience from minions is pretty damn good. You don't really have to do anything for it. It's just AFK. And another sad fact is that if you have five people doing slayers, 24 minions is nowhere near enough to fund it. It's kinda expected that everyone has at least level 7 on all slayers, because that is when you can use all the talismans in the game. But guess what? It costs 30 million coins for one person to get all slayers to level 7. So if you have 5 people in the co-op, it's gonna be 150 million just to get everyone in the co-op to all level 7s. And if you wanna get all your levels to 8, it's gonna cost you a solid 600 million. And getting that much money while doing Slayer without the help of minions or bank interest is gonna be a bit difficult. We are doing just fine because, well, I hate to admit it, but we have two YouTubers on our island, so we do get some donations once in a while. Cal has easily gotten over 350 million, and I think I have gotten like half of that. So we are not really struggling with money. Yes, we are, but uh, that's only because I spent my money on things that I probably shouldn't. And Cal pretty much bought almost every single item in the game. And it's not like we are the only co-op taking donations. Let's take Time Dio's co-op for example. They sell apartments on their island for millions of coins. If you're just a normal player though, it might be a bit difficult to make money by selling apartments. Also, Dio's co-op member Hasco is a pretty good example of a player in a co-op. The guy has multiple level 50s, but only has level 20 mining. Obviously mining is not that important anyway, but it's not that hard to get up with minions. Plus I heard from somewhere that you need 25 mining for dungeons. I'm not sure if that's true though. So until they do something about the minions, or add better ways to level up skills, and make a better bank, don't join a co-op. It's not worth it. Unless you just want to play really casually with your friends, then endgame doesn't really matter. But the only thing you can really do together is build your island and unlock some recipes. That's about it. There is literally nothing for co-ops. Like even the only quest in the game is done solo. We can only pray that they will add something for co-ops in the dungeons update. And you can always turn your solo island into a co-op, but you can't really turn your co-op into a solo island unless you kick everyone out but that's kind of toxic. 
Like honestly, I would already be super happy if they made it so that when somebody collects the minions, everyone in the co-op would get the experience. I'm not sure how they could fix the minion slot problem, but I don't even really care about the items. I just want the experience. And if you still think that co-op is better because you have five people grinding instead of one, keep in mind that you have to grind five times more items. Like you have to grind five sets of superior, you have to grind all the talismans five times, unless you share, but even then, you all still need to get your slayers up and sharing one parrot must be really fun. And I almost forgot, the personal bank is not shared, so you would have to buy that five times as well. Like the only thing Gob is useful for right now is a minion slot speedrun. Like if you guys all manually grind the materials for the minions or just grind money and use the bazaar, it will be faster to unlock the last slot. But then again, is it really worth it when you can get 10 slots each on your own islands with way less effort? Plus no one really cares about the last few minion slots anyway. Endgame Skyblock is all about your personal levels and Cope just makes it harder to get those levels.